Auburn Junior Day. Depending on who you ask, over 150 kids. Some people said over 200. Last year, 13 players. Some people say 20. But for real, for real, it was really about maybe 15 at the most. What has Hugh Freeze done differently that was done previously? One, early. He's getting out early, not waiting around. He knows he has to recruit. He's getting out in the state of Alabama. College coaches are loving Hugh Freeze, and he's starting at home. You got Aniston there. You got Baker there. You got Sarah Land. You got Pike Rose. You got Tus uh, Booker T. Washington to Tuskegee. You got so many places to be. Thompson, all of these places to be in Alabama that you got to focus on. And last year, you really didn't sign a whole lot from Alabama. I expect that to be totally different this year. And you're going to see Hugh Freeze battling Nick Saban for more high, more, more highly ranked guys than in the past. And I think the real time that you see Hugh Freeze's real, real class is going to be 25 class. I think he'll do a great job in 24. I fully expect Auburn to have a top 15 class easily, uh, but probably top 12. But I think when you see – and possibly top 10. But I think the 25 class in Auburn, you'll see Auburn return to, like, having that top five type, top five, top four type class. And uh, that's when you'll see the real, real uh, dividends coming out of Auburn's investment in Hugh Freeze. Uh, so kudos to him. And, you know, I always shout him out because, uh, you know, that was a tough job to come into, man, you know uh, – no disrespect to the last coaching staff. You had some guys on there who didn't really understand. There were some guys who did get it. I I loved uh, Brad Bedell. I thought he was a really good tight ends coach, uh, even though he was kind of out of position, but he still did his thing. Steven Ruzik, um, Ruzik was really good. Uh, he's at Indiana as a, a off-field staff, but he was an off-field guy. Um, really did a good job, but, you know, things happen. And um, Christian Robinson did a good job. But uh, things happen, and uh, you see the guys who were, you know, kind of doing a really good job landing on their feet. And uh, But they made it hard on the next guy. Hugh Freeze was ready for the challenge, came in, hit the transfer portal, feet on the ground, marching, running. And now you see Auburn is probably one of the premier programs in the Southeast with an upper trajectory. And as evidenced by Junior Day, if you're an Auburn fan, you can't be any more excited. Um, Clemson had a really good Junior Day. A lot of high-level talent. A lot of people, I mean, uh, K.J. Bolden is there. Um, you got uh, Walker White there, a huge Auburn target. Um, you got, they, they're still getting those high-level guys there. And uh, they're going to be around. And if they get the quarterback play, Clemson will be right back where they've always been. But as you know, um, it's a quarterback dependent, uh, quarterback dependent game in college football. You got to have a trigger man in order to win, and um, even Stetson Bennett, who didn't have all the stars and all the hoopla, there was nobody more clutch, and he made. You didn't see him make a lot of bad throws. So, um, yeah, I mean, right now, next year, college football seems to be wide open. Um, if I had to take my pick next year, I don't see I don't see anybody knocking George off. Depending, as long as they get some decent quarterback play, I don't see anybody knocking those guys off right now. Unless Brother Hugh comes with the phone. And, uh, you know, you got Georgia at home this year, so we'll see. But right now, early, I mean, it, it's going to be hard to beat Georgia, I think, uh, depending on who ends up being a quarterback at Ohio State. I think that will have a lot to do with it. But it, it, it's it's if there is a dark horse team, hey, I got to go with the Auburn Tigers because – they got a, a lot in place. Hugh Freeze has an offense that translates well against SEC against the SEC, and uh, he's got two. He's got games against three of the powerhouses in college football in LSU, uh, Alabama, and Georgia. Three teams that all respectively could have been in the SEC championship last year. You win two out of those three, and you're right back in the playoff picture. So um, we'll see how that works out. 